Good afternoon, Animal Man here. Today we're going to talk about primitive basket making and we're going to prepare some materials. Right here you've got this beautiful, wonderful uh, willow tree. And willow is very fond of growing in kind of wet places. We're at the edge of a pond right here in Winchester, Mass. So this is great for the, the weaving strands and basket making these willow twigs and being in the middle of the winter it's the perfect season to collect them because all the leaves are gone that saves you a lot of time and effort in the preparation so we're going to harvest a whole bunch of these by cutting them off and uh, we'll show you what to do with them so here's what we've got to do we find these long straight branches coming off and we're going to cut them right at the base just like that and that's what we're looking for to collect here as many of these as we can but we don't want to deplete a whole section of the tree. We want to do it kind of like we're pruning it. And I never take them all from one spot. Usually when you find a willow, you get a whole bunch of them. You find several willows in one spot, which is good. That way you can spread this out a little, a little ways. It's very, very simple. Usually I look for ones that are at least three foot long to make it worthwhile. All right, so we've got a nice bundle going here. We're ready to continue with our preparation. What happens with these is as they dry, because these just go off the tree, as they dry, they're gonna shrink a lot. And uh, we don't wanna make a basket before they shrink because the basket will get all loose and fall apart and everything, which is no good. So what we wanna do is we wanna roll them up to dry them that way. And what this does is by rolling them in this bucket, we're gonna roll them in there, we're gonna tie them all rolled up and when we need to use them later on, all we do is put them back in the bucket. I'll show you exactly what I mean in a second. So we're gonna roll these up in here. Just roll them all in, right to the bottom. Just keep going. See that so far? I'm gonna do it two more times here. Oops. Push it down. It's starting to get tight in here, so here, here's the last one. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to use zip ties. You get four zip ties. We're going to run it along. I'll start over here so you can see it. Run it down the outside so we can grab it, tighten it up loosely for now. We're going to do one directly across from it, so I'll rotate this so you can see it. Slide it down along the outside so we can reach it on the bottom. Loosely. Try to gather all these up the best we can. Last one. Here it is. Alright, so now I'm going to just tighten these up a little bit more.
All right, and now, you just pop out of the bucket. This is what you're left with. So now, you let this dry just like this, somewhere in your house, and they'll do all the shrinking, all the shrinking will be done, and then when you're ready to make your basket, all you do is you take this, get your bucket again, fill it up halfway with water, dump this in there, let it soak a few hours overnight, you're ready to roll. So now, when it softens up with the water, it gets pliable again, so you can use it, but it's not going to shrink when it dries again. All the shrinking is done when it dries the first time right now. So there you go. Great way to prepare any basket-making material.